Please. Huh? Don't kill me.
Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. There's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. Checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in ten minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time.
nothing to report. No, uh, freeze. No! Please don't. Please don't. Time to save? Another Chinese proverb. Those who look to the heavens prosper. Those who defy it are no more. Do you know this one? The meaning here is... Hold on a sec. That you can only survive as long as you're a part of the natural order of things. You remember pre-ripped genes? Manufacturers thought that just because people loved old, broken-in jeans, they would want to buy new jeans that looked old. So they purposefully... What do jeans have to do with nature and order? Denim should fray and rip on its own, naturally, right? Some designers tried to go against that, and no one bought them. The earnings report from that fiscal year is enough of a proof. Earnings? Sternach. The lift is also under our control. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir.
Who goes there? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network. Managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment... Oh, you need to save? Just a second. Hey, Snake, what's hardest won, most easily lost? It's time, get it? Amazing how relevant these Chinese proverbs still are. 
Once the moment's gone, it's gone. Except for daylight savings time, of course. That extra hour to do anything you like with every autumn. Gotta love it. Then again, you lose an hour every spring, so I guess the proverbs are right. Wow, they thought of everything. Did they even have daylight savings back then? Of course not. They knew how to save time. We're the ones that need to be tricked into it. Yeah, but you said... The moment never returns, Snake. Let's not waste it on idle questions. Okay. <laughs> Every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds if not thousands of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained. And it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Uh -oh. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a, f it is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project, but I promise you that they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of RAID. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. Up. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up... Oh, 
I don't think we can use this. What's next? Oh, this is a... What? Nothing. It's nothing. Uh, but th this isn't a photo of Metal Gear anyway. Sorry, but you're gonna have to go back and shoot another set. I'll just make a backup of this one. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this. The last one is... <laughs> this is hilarious! <laughs> this rules! But we can't use it. Get the shots we need. I'll just make a backup of this one. We need four images. One from the front right, the front, and the front left, and a close-up of the Marines marking on the prototype. Get the prototype on camera. ...to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century, projected to completion in 2005. Good. The NMD trial conducted in the year 2000 was a complete failure, and the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Agreement. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military issue. Good. for the hundred billion dollar program budget that actually arranged the legislative approval. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NVT and Stark obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of Good. To play that Russian roulette again. The metal. Okay, I'm receiving the images. Okay, first up. This is great! The Marines lettering shows up really well. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. The last one is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. We're okay on the photos from the right, front, and the one of the lettering. The only one we want is a Metal Gear from the front left. I know you can do it. The gear where you see is here to prevent that possibility. Former President Sears did also act towards reducing the nuclear stockpile while nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Start 3 ceiling for tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approving a revision to the ABM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses... Good. Ah. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Intruder to the right! Intruder! 
intruder in the back! Intruder to the left! Okay, I'm receiving the images. Okay, first up... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismissed. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. <laughs> this ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Streets. I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Now you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. 
and Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Golukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Metal Gear only has room for one! Lukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust Doc. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. I quit. Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late fifties when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm.
has planned, sir. Discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President.